Now they can play a little safer. But they're not going to. Nix is back. Throws it downfield. Caught! Touchdown, Williams! On the back end, put your secondary in a rough spot. They run the reverse. It's Hall. It's the second time they run any hurdles, the man. Holy cow. Oh. Big time ups and stayed on his feet for a couple extra yards. Off the center. We'll hand off to Barnett. No. Ellington keeps it. Puts his foot in the ground. Gets ahead for the first down. Slips away. Touchdown. Beautiful run for the quarterback, Dan Ellington. He's been giving it all day. Three third downs have been. Morgan steps up. He's run down the sideline. One on one. What a catch! Rashad Bateman, one hand. A fade down the sideline. Juggling catches made by Deami Brown for a touchdown. Flowers in motion. No room there, but now he bounces it back upside. Keeps his feet and he'll score. Morgan going up top in the end zone and a spectacular catch for the touchdown. Sports Center top 10 nominee right there. Hasn't been a great night for the Panthers, but Shamar Thornton just made a spectacular catch in the end zone. Look at the touch. Right over the shoulder, one-handed, grabs it, controls it, in the end zone. Touchdown, Panther. ETN trying to bounce outside to the 30. He's loose to midfield. To the 30, 20, 10, touchdown. Herbert pump fake on second and seven, pressured, buying time, and now we'll loop the ball for the end zone. A risky jump ball, caught for a touchdown. Spencer Webb went up and got it, won a battle. With three seconds left from 56 yards out. Does he have it? Yes, he does! Nevada wins at the gun! It's good from 56 from the freshman Brandon Tung. Nevada 34, Purdue 31. And last but not least, he's from Vacaville. He's from Vacaville. Scully! Congratulations, outstanding game ball and scholarship. First and ten, Jonathan Taylor in the backfield is going to get the ball again. And Jonathan Taylor out into the open. There he goes. The first touchdown of the year for number 23. Some kind of big play. Taylor's going to get the ball in the passing game. And there's the speed. Cutting it upfield. Out into the open. Taylor, touchdown. Second and one with Taylor in the backfield. Wisconsin's looking to put this game away. What a move. Taylor, there's the speed. Jonathan Taylor, off he goes. Another touchdown. And that, in its own way, was pretty spectacular. And this time it's Fields on the carry. Watch out. Justin Fields. Hello, Columbus. 51 yards. He'll take the football again. He breaks it. Across the 30, he's off to the races, and he's in the end zone. 48 yards and a touchdown. First Kent State defender there is Benjamin running right. Benjamin skips. Benjamin to the sideline. There's a flag down as Benjamin is wrestled out of bounds. He got to snowboard again, which you can't really do in Kentucky. And look at this hurdle by Jordan wow. Nathan. How about that? That's catching some air. <laughs> That's where I want to be. <laughs> That's when you didn't have any worries. Around the edge, a lot of room to go for Devin Ford. 30, 20, 10, goodbye. Touchdown. Jamie loves that deep ball, and he's got it to Surratt. Sage Surratt will score.
For a Pac-12 team in the top 10, you already knew there, there wasn't one in there, and Oregon lost today. That is a tough loss for the league. As Jones on the return for USC, which needs a big one. Jones breaks free. Jones on the gas pedal. Down the sideline. Touchdown Trojans. There's a lot. Second down. The fake. Lewis, the pass out to Nick Ralston. He's into the end zone. Under was falling down. The officials don't call it. Rolston hits it up the left side, and Louisiana's a point away from tying this ball game. And a nice completion. And they go right back to him again. Able to beat a man in space down the sideline. Jerry Judy, what an effort. So how many people you play in front of? 20,000, roughly. <laughs> Blackman gets rid of it here, and it's Tamari and Terry, and he's got the first down. Terry, their most dangerous receiver, and he might be gone. On a simple play to the perimeter, it takes it the distance. 75-yard touchdown. And man coverage for him. Bachmeyer instead throws a fade the other way. It is caught. Did he stay in bounds and get the foot down? Shakir, it's like he was carried to the sideline, but they're going to say he got a foot down. It's a touchdown. Dude, the all-time. Leading tackler in Nebraska history on the coaching staff. Spielman had some trouble initially, and now he's got some blockers. Across midfield, down the near sideline he goes. Spielman takes it, and a special team score for Nebraska. Here's Boyd, comes near side, Raheem Boyd. Hurdles a man out of bounds. Taking a shot to the end zone. Climbing the ladder, Bo Corrales for the touchdown. And five. Empty backfield again, clearing up the picture for the quarterback. Intercepted again by Wolfolk. Wolfolk on the return. And a plus territory in front of an ecstatic North Carolina sideline. Coach Brown, you told us yesterday you need to wear them down and get it to the fourth quarter. How did you guys take over in the fourth and final quarter? Allison, just proud of the guys. These guys have had a tough time, and we worked them really hard. We made so many mistakes. Oh, my God. And for them to win this game is such a, a great win for those kids, uh, our coaching staff, and these fans, because they've waited for this a long time. What makes this win so emotional for you? Uh, I think just them losing so many fourth quarter games last year and the year before. And we just kept telling them fourth quarter, fourth quarter, and then we tried to screw it up. And we couldn't even screw it up. And, and this will be the happiest team in the country tonight because they overcame adversity. It will mean a lot to your team, and I know it will mean a lot to you. You made a promise to enjoy these wins more. How much are you going to enjoy this? I'm going to enjoy this. I've got, I've got so many lists of bad things that we did and coaching mistakes that we made, and I don't care. <laughs> I am so happy. We'll worry about that tomorrow. We got Miami next week. I'm not thinking about them tonight.